talk about. We're going to do the final review of the Kaiser Grazioso and it took a little while to get around to it because this is now my knife and I put it through a little bit harder paces than stuff normally that I would borrow. So this did a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting to do with it and the fact that Jared gave it to me a gift is pretty cool. So, but before we get too far into it, you guys know what time it is. It's time to listen to a little bit of music. Right, Jared sent, Jared sent me a message telling me that he was giving me this knife as a gift, which I'm really happy about because I really, really like it. I think this is, it's up there with the TRM Atom um, and some of those other knives that are just like really stellar offerings this year. But before we get too far into it, this is Guga Foods. And if you guys don't watch Guga Foods, I don't know what rock you're living under. Uh, great, great channel. One of my favorite channels between this and Sous Vide Everything. Uh, I like to cook. I like to eat. I'm a big guy. I like to eat a lot and just watching this channel will just make you hungry. Uh, some of the best steaks in the world I've seen cooked on his channel. So go give him a like. I can't send him any money. I'd love to buy some of his merch, but I just don't have the money right now, but I can send him you guys for some views. So yeah, like I said, this is that Kaiser Gracioso. It was designed by Sharif Manganis. He told me I pronounced it properly, Manganis. Um, when I, when I said it in the other video. So, uh, this was done by Kaiser. This is, this is the copper and G10 version. So let's not, let's not just keep beating our gums. Let's actually turn this around and take a look at it down at the mat. Guys, this is the Kaiser Gracioso. This is a really fun knife. Jared sent this to me. Uh, I'll tell you what Jared and I had said about it. Um, this is the copper and G10 version. So let's go ahead and get into it real quick and then I'll tell you about the knife because I'm, I'm really stoked about that. I love this knife and now that it's mine, it even makes me happier. So this is the Kaiser Grazioso designed by Manganis Steel. So that's Sharif Manganis. This is a 3.25 inch drop point recurve blade in Bowler N690. Um, so you've got a full cutting edge of 3.125 inches. Let's go ahead and look at the blade stickness. They say that it's 0.12. And since I filmed this once before, I already know that it is 0.12, but I'll show you guys. So um, 0 0.1175, 0 0.1, I mean, that's really close. That's an approximation. During finishing and, and surfacing and things like that, that can fluctuate a little bit. So like I said, this is a recurve drop point behind the edge thickness on this one. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I already know what it is. Um, let me get right there. 0.1, or 0 0.0165 behind the edge thickness so even though it's not a real broad blade not tall jared broad um it's a fairly narrow blade from from spine to apex it thins down so well um the handle length on this so close length is 4.75 for a full length overall of eight inches so you're looking at eight inches overall length on this handles are g10 and copper on this one with a copper backspacer the pocket clip is just about perfect tension it does not move very much um this is a steel liner lock runs on ceramic bearings all the hardware is all blacked out so you get that really cool black hardware all black look with just the copper bolster and backspacer showing off and that is what's going to make it a little heavy now i did not see a weight listed online we're going to go ahead and pull this up and we'll look at it so we'll look at it in ounces first so in ounces that's four and a half ounces that's not a, it's not a real big knife for it to be that heavy but like i said that's a big honking chunk of copper that's on there as a backspacer so in grams for those of you that don't you do freedom units you are looking at 129 130 grams in that ballpark there like i said this is not regardless of what nick is saying here this is not the most accurate of scales so your results may vary um so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you've got, this thing is gorgeous. I use this a lot. I actually had to, uh, I don't know if you can see, I actually had to hone this up a little bit on a ceramic rod, 
uh, because I did use it. I used this a lot harder than I'd use the knives that Jared sent me because once he told me it was mine, I definitely, definitely did. The nice thing about this is this copper is not coated. So as you can see, you're going to get good patina. I actually force patinaed mine a little bit with some ammonia and baking soda to get the kind of the look I wanted, which is not necessarily the green, but kind of that mottled, almost granite look to it. I think it came out pretty good. Um, it, the thing is, this thing is beautifully done. And the fact is that this is one of those knives that comes in every once in a while. You know, we see so many things that are always the same. Like you get this, it's always the same. It's always the same knife. It's a drop point. It does. This is one of those ones that comes in and it has a unique look to it, has a unique feel to it. It gives you something that's a little bit different, but it still works. This, you could carry this as a work knife. This is, this is kind of a really cool looking gentleman's folder. I love that. I love the harpoon kind of look you get to this with that thumb ramp there. But the fact is, it's not just there for looks. Like, it is super, super functional. I did cut a lot with this. The N690 blade has held up really well. The finish on this is great. So you have a, a double angled satin. So you have a belt satin going this way and this way, and you have that big swedge. It comes out, it's ground really well. This thing is super aggressively sharp. The only thing I'm not happy about, I wish that they had brought the choil forward just a little bit. Not much that I can really say about. Pocket clip sits just about perfect. Um, this has been in my pocket basically full time. This is this is a knife that even when I, I tell you guys I set an alarm so I can stop carrying what I'm, what I'm carrying for review and start carrying the stuff I wanna carry. This didn't come out of my pocket. So this is another one that's one of those knives that's going to get a lot of pocket time because it just, everything it does, it does it really well. Really acute piercing tip. Distal taper is done really well. That recurve is going to give you a nice belly to cut around things with. That you not necessarily want to pierce. Um, like I said, good and thin behind the edge and it cuts so well. Um, the edge that came on it was fairly aggressive. You can see I honed it right at the very apex on a ceramic rod. The... The one that I have, I'm not, you know, I'm going to show you guys everything I find. The one I have is a little asymmetrical to tip, but with it being so thin, that's going to be easy to rectify when I sharpen this. I'm going to have to sharpen this before too long. It gets a lot of use. I guarantee um, that I'm going to have to sharpen it. The lines on this, look at the plunge, uh, the plunge grind on that. Really attractive. It gives you some nice facets to look at on that. So not only is it really functional, it is really great in pocket. Um, this thing, I've, I've done a lot of cutting with it and it has held up to doing pretty much anything I would ask of it. Um, and, and the fact is it's, it feels more substantial. I like a little heft and the fact that it's copper and brass, not only is it attractive, but it gives you a little bit of additional weight where I want it a little forward of, of where my fingers are. I can feel where that blade is at all times. It's a pocket clip. Pocket clip actually is fairly comfortable, even for a deep carry. It doesn't stand up too high. It doesn't have any sharp points. I really didn't feel too many hot spots on this. Everything is chamfered down really well. Now, I do know that they have this in brass and micarta, which is attractive, but I, I'm really glad that this is the one Jared gave me. I think that I have enough other knives that are in micarta, um, that green micarta, that I think this contrast between the copper and black would be exactly what I wanted. But like I said, there are options to this. Unfortunately, this knife is currently not available. Pocket clip, really stable does not move very much. Take a cue from this, guys. Don't make that, don't thin that pocket clip out in the back here when you guys are, knife companies are paying attention to where that pocket clip slides. You can make it move just a little bit, but you really got to try. So overall, guys, this is up there. I'm going to say that this is probably a tie with the Civivi Brazen um, for the fact it cuts really well. It's in a steel that is easy to maintain. It's not going to break the bank. I'll tell you guys about the price in the outro. Uh, but yeah, Kaiser, the ones I've been seeing, Kaiser's just been knocking it out of the park. So yeah, listen and listen to that action, guys. Action on this thing is just amazing. The po the, thick, the the flipper tab, I meant to, meant to mention this, that flipper tab just all but disappears. So you have a flipper tab that is not super intrusive it's not in the way it's not sharp um the action on it's really good but then that flipper tab just almost disappears almost disappears and even if you didn't have it sticking out there you would still have that forward area right there 
as a guard. Um, I've mentioned it in a couple other videos, there's been some knives that came in that don't have that area. And it just feels, it. I don't think I actually would, but it just feels as though I could easily slip up and over and get into the edge. That actually right there is almost a finger toil if you needed to get up in on it. I can, as long as I keep my finger back here, I can get up on it if I needed to. But the fact is like this right here, it doesn't need a forward choil, really. It's comfortable. I just wish that they had brought that forward just ever so slightly, not to make it a full finger choil, but just to kind of get away from that plunge. You can see right, which side is it? There's one of these sides. Where, yeah, right there. You can see while they were processing this knife and sharpening it, you can see they got into that just ever so slightly right there. So I think in future sharpening, it's it's going to start to get that wide spot just right at the very, very end of the sharpening bevel. But yeah, guys, really, really like this knife. Sharif, really nice design. It is beautiful. Uh, go follow Man Mangana Steel on Instagram. He's got a bunch of good posts. Super, super attractive. I just wish, I wish I could tell you guys where to get it. Right now, uh, last place I saw it was on Blade HQ. I saw a price. And uh, it was uh, it was listed as out of stock. So you might want to get on an email list so you can know when they come back in stock. All right, guys, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts. So yeah, guys, like I said, this came in and I knew I was going to like it. I kind of put off putting it in my pocket towards the end because I was afraid that this was going to make it difficult to carry some of the other stuff that Jared sent me. Um, and then when he told me that he was giving it to me because he had two of them, I was just kind of over moon this. Well, it's not that expensive of a knife, guys. Uh, it, it's just a this is a this is a banger. This really is a sleeper. Um, don't let this one slip by the next time they're available. Unfortunately, they are currently unavailable. Um, I saw them on Blade HQ. The price I saw on Blade HQ was I have it written down right here, sixty nine dollars. But like I said, they're currently out of stock. I would definitely say I recommend highly getting on an email list so that you know the next time these become available. Because uh, not only is it attractive, it, it's one of those things that, that came in that is attractive and works. Uh, so, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, thank you again, Jared. This was a very, very, very good gift. Thank you. Um, guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. Put that right back in my pocket. If you don't like the videos, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. Uh, if you want to support the channel, there's multiple ways you can do it. There's membership tabs down below where you can get it on exclusive content, uh, exclusive giveaways, uh, you know, shout outs and videos. There's multiple tiers, all that stuff. Uh, if you can't do that, I do have affiliate links down below where you can go shopping on Amazon. Anything you purchase once you link in through one of my affiliate links, even if it's not the item you clicked on, I still get credit for it. So basically Amazon pays me for you shopping. Um, I also have the merchandise store down below. Uh, the Ember Shirt Co. and Crazy Sharp Merchandise Store. You, I get credit for anything you purchase on there, and I've gotten you guys, I set it up myself, a coupon code that will save you 10% at checkout. It's Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, one word. That's 10% at checkout. Guys, that's all I got for this one. I, I, I love you all. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Be good to each other. Keep it clean in the comments section. It makes it easier to moderate. And I will see you in the next video.